Hey guys, how's it going? I saw Finding Dory not too long ago, and I thought I'd share my thoughts with you guys. Finding Dory. Now, right off the bat, let's just get right into it. Everyone hates sequels to movies, but Pixar usually has uh, a pretty good track record. <clears throat> this time around, obviously, it doesn't star an email, it stars Dory. Dory lost her parents, and she spends the movie trying to find her parents. Throughout the movie, little bits and pieces of her memory start to come back. She starts to put the pieces of the puzzle together to hopefully find her parents. I thought this was a great plot of the movie. It wasn't just Dory's loss, let's go find her, like everybody thought it was. It was actually trying to help Dory get reconnected with her family. Throughout the movie, obviously, we have a lot of reoccurring characters. For some reason, we don't have the sharks. The sharks never came back. Pretty much everybody else makes an appearance, not going to spoil anything. Major. Things I liked about the movie. A lot of new characters. Now, one of my favorite new characters was this octopus named Hank. He's kind of an old grouch, but on the inside he's a really good person and he's he makes a lot of funny comments. Like he's like reaction comedy. Like whenever Dory says something stupid to him, he has this overreaction. It always makes me laugh. That was a big part of the movie for me. There's a lot of scenes that will make you just laugh out loud. I'd say this is a great Pixar, great addition to the Pixar family. Definitely makes up for the last Pixar movie I saw. Because it hits the nail on the head for the story, the drama, makes you laugh, makes you cry. The, the comedy really hit. I have a friend named Comedy Carl. I know, it's a pretty shitty name. But he wants to give us his opinion about the movie, so I'm just going to let him do that. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, hey! How's everybody doing tonight? Comedy Carl! Did you see Finding Dory? That movie was some funny sh What's the deal with seafood? If it's so easy to see, why do we have to find Nemo? Hey, anyone? Anyone? A mollusk walks up to a sea cucumber. Oh wait, no. Well, mollusks can't really walk, you know, because they don't have legs. I mean, swim, because they're not a, a fit. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Go f yourselves. I haven't really heard any complaints about the movie. Like. It's been pretty solid all around. Like, everybody's loving Finding Dory. Only, only, like, I guess there's probably some haters out there that just want to hate because everybody likes, you know? But otherwise, that, I don't really see, I don't really hear anything. So, Speak for yourself, goddamn it. I, I gotta go. I just, I just gotta I go. Have, I can't I listen to this bullshit. Thank you. Overprotective Owen! Now, for those of you who don't know, real fish cannot speak. This movie is unrealistic, which means it is the work of the devil. Anybody who takes part in watching Finding Door Hay is part of the devil. That's all. Stay safe, kids, and don't be watching or reading any of that Harry Potter sh That stuff will screw with your mind. Well, anyway, let's talk about the other stuff that I like from Finding Dory. So, I already talked about the comedy, the new characters, the story was great. Oh no. I, I don't think I'm gonna... This guy. What the hell are you reviewing today? Metalhead Mike, by the way. Metalhead Mike! Finding Dory. Oh, you mean that pussy-ass kids movie? I wouldn't watch that shit if you paid me. No, it's not a kid's movie. It's a great movie. Anybody, anybody can watch Pixar. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't watch that. You know why I wouldn't watch that? Because I'm not a little girl like you. Peace out. That's all my time. I give The Finding Dory a 8 out of 10. It's a great sequel. It's a great Pixar movie. It really follows up well in the series. I can't really find too much wrong with it. You should definitely go see it.